Are you looking to add some creative flair to your WordPress website? Then look no further than Greenshift. With Greenshift, you can master this awards-winning hover effect in WordPress for free. That's right, no cost. Awards-winning hover effects are a great way to make your website more engaging and interactive. Whether you are a beginner or a seasoned pro like me, you don't have to be an experienced web developer to create stunning hover effects that will impress your visitors. Before we dive into how you can create this yourself, let's go back a little bit at how this all started. It started on January the 16th and someone in the Facebook group asked me, could you recreate this web design in Greenshift? And that's what I did. For the next couple of weeks, I did a stream, live stream every week, where I tried to recreate the Drive Capital website. And I must say, the experience is amazing and very fun to do. You can find a playlist of live streams in the comments down below. So it was a lot of failure, but also a lot of wins. And we ended up with a very great looking website that looks almost exactly like the Drive Capital website. And I did this all in the free version of Greenshift. And if you would like to follow along, you can download the code in the store. There is a free starter template available there. And if you feel a little bit lazy, you can also purchase the end result for one euro. So let's get to it. So here we have the award winning website we're going to look at. And it's the website of the Drive Capital. Looks very nice. The colors all nice and dandy. And it has a pretty high score. Uh, 7.5 out of 10. And it was the site of the day in March 21, 2023. So let's have a look at the website itself it has very nice animations and this is the section we're going to recreate today so for you to be able to follow along let's go to the web store there will be a link in the description down below this is a pre-made section we're going to import you can add a price if you would like to support me and if you don't want to support me you can enter zero and you hit press i want this next you just press get and here you have your amazing hover effect starter. So we download that and then we open the folder and we export the containment. And here you will have a hover effect txt. Copy the containment and now go to your WordPress website. Press the three dots. Go to code editor and in the biggest block enter your code that you just copied. Exit code editor and there we go. So let's discover what you've just imported. You've imported a container. In the container, there is a text field. Within the same container, there's another container containing the slider. And the slider has the settings that the speed is 1000. It loops out of place. Do not display after interactions. All items are visible, centered mode, free mode, linear transition, auto hide, and disable touch following. Doesn't have any space between. So we can set it to zero doesn't have any height and the arrows and bullets are disabled this makes for a infinite scrolling effect so let's continue so now we are going to improve what we have to recreate the other effect we just saw so how are we going to do this so what are we going to start with is with the container and in the container we just set a in our spacing, we set the overflow instead of default, we set it to hidden. So it will not show the overflow to recreate the hover effect. Then we go to container. And with the container, we want to change the default settings. So we go to advanced and then position. We want to position it absolute with everything set to zero. Now everything is on one line and we want to start this section to be 100% down. And when we hover, we want to hover the parent class. So we click this button to add a class for the parent. And then the shift Y position will be zero. And there we have our first section. Now what we would like to add is the opacity. It starts off with zero and then goes to one. So there we have a fade up effect when you hover over. Because we know we want to hover the parent and we do have a class for it to use, we can just copy this one and paste it in here. 
so that we have our class in there already when the parent is hovered then an interaction will happen and with this one we will start off also by 100% down and we go to zero so now you don't see, you see a little bit of a delay and we would like to increase the delay so that can be done here by setting it to 0.1 and as you can see there's a little bit of a delay on hover that looks like it's sliding in we hit and if we preview and tab there's the effect recreated so if you did follow along and you created something awesome leave a comment down below and like this video while you're scrolling down there to let me know that i need to make more of these kinds of videos now you've created an amazing looking animated hover effect but can also spice up your bento grid watch this video next to see how you could do that and if you're still watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you next one. Keep designing.